avalanche sweeps the skier away, but dangerous conditions have unfortunately paused search efforts for that missing man. It happened in the backcountry of Park City outside the ski resort. News specialist Garna Mejia is on this story and joins us live. And Garna, what are investigators telling you went wrong here? Yeah, good evening, Dan. And you know what? This is what went wrong. This is what they've been fearing. A weak snowpack followed by some heavy powder and skiers in that backcountry area. Tonight, rescue crews are forced to wait until tomorrow morning before resuming their search efforts for that missing skier. They're saying that that area that he's located in is a steep, it's a rough terrain that can only really be accessed by air. Because it is such an extremely dangerous uh, avalanche zone. Um, the plan was to use the Utah Department of Public Safety. Uh, they have a hoist team. Uh, we wanted to use that to try to get into the area. Unfortunately, it started to get dark, and so we had to pull off our operations for the night. Now, Lieutenant Andrew Wright with the Summit County Sheriff's Office tells us that this all happened to the backcountry area known as Snow Top. It's near Park City Mountain Canyon Village here. Now, deputies say the skiers triggered the avalanche. One of them got caught in it. Now, his friend was able to dig them out and attempt life-saving efforts. That's what deputies are calling them. But that friend was forced off the mountain due to the dangerous conditions. Now, the call for help came in around 3.30 this afternoon, but deputies aren't sure exactly exactly how much time uh, elapsed when that avalanche was triggered and how long the skiers were trapped up there. Tonight, they fear that this may be a recovery effort. Based on the circumstances and the eyewitness accounts, uh, it's not looking favorable for uh, this individual and um, it'll take time for us to get in there. So yes, uh, most likely we are, we are looking at a recovery operation at this point. Now, these are some dangerous conditions. The Utah Avalanche Center is reporting today alone 13 avalanches in the Salt Lake area. They're also reporting one person at Lewis Peak near Colville. They were buried up to the waist. Then four snowmobilers also got caught in another avalanche near Chalk Creek. Now, deputies tell us that, uh, meanwhile, their efforts here will resume tomorrow at 7 in the morning. That's when they say that they'll make an effort to get back into that area, mitigate those risks, and make sure it's safe for uh, rescue crews to go in there. They're also saying that they're hoping to give us more information about the skier, a name and age uh, tomorrow. But tonight is for them as they continue to work with that skier's family. We'll send